Hello there, Majid. Very sorry. This uh, your email or your essay um, got mixed up, and it was basically um, at the end of the pile, and I wasn't checking right down to the bottom. So I do apologize. I'm going to give you a full refund, and just so that you're not, uh, so you haven't completely lost your time. I'm going to do this correction for free um, because I, I I imagine you've still got this problem of wanting to pass the IELTS. So this one is for free and your refund is will be is has been processed and will be in your account in the next day or two. Okay? So let's go. We've been hearing this ongoing debate about the negative effects of international marketing and now it's being seen as a threat to the country's economic trade policies and procedures. Mm, okay, so is it related to trade? That's a big assumption, but more importantly, two things here that I want to uh, bring your attention to. Actually, there's probably three or four. First one, we, we don't use contractions. We have to say it has been seen. Okay, it has been seen. We never use contractions. That is not the correct academic literary standard, basically. And also, we sounds a little bit informal. Um, in jet with if you are doing the general it's probably okay however you will get points for making it too informal you will lose points sorry for making it too informal but you'll never lose points for making it overly formal in the academic essay maybe with general task one and you have to write a letter to a friend and you're addressing it dear sir or madam that ridiculously over, overly formal and you will lose points because it's the incorrect register. Whereas this one, um, so what I'm saying is always for your task to always ear on the edge of more formal where possible. Okay, so that means um, probably dropping the we, okay, and just making it passive and say something. There has been uh, talk of this ongoing debate or even better what we teach in this sentence guide is numerous academics and experts have debated the, the negative have debate, debated about the negative effects of international marketing okay and then probably continue with something that you've got similar so good now the other thing is that it's incredibly wordy we've got the same tense pronoun uh, repeated twice and also it's a wordy tense the, the present perfect, okay? The present, eh. And there's usually a more succinct way, a more direct way of writing it, okay? Something like we, where we would drop the verb to be and just use a more descriptive um, active verb in the sentence. Please also have the fear. Please also have the fear of influx. Who's this, police maybe? Okay, so I'm guessing it's police, but just be careful there. It doesn't make sense. You also have the fear of influx. Okay, the police. Okay, and this is again referring to the academic register. So we could say, in addition, police also fear a possible influx of people coming in from across the borders. Okay, so in that sentence, I have... Um, I've tried to use uh, an active verb as such as fear rather than the verb to be just so that I can say the same but with less words. This makes it more succinct, more direct. Okay, but also it does seem like we have gone way off topic in those last uh, one and a half sentences. All this leads, okay, again, more formal. Um, in sum, this leads to greater, let's upgrade our language, okay, big and small is early, early English um, vocabulary, okay, and we need to make our writing more academic. So, um, big, small, good, bad, all of this is very basic, and we need to improve it. Uh, so, what could we say? major competition, greater competition, and lesser profits. But again, it looks like we're off topic. But however, we don't need but however, that's more like spoken English. We just say, however, comma. The research shows a different truth and is also well supported with data. Good. Speculations totally written, uh, sorry, totally spoken English. So be careful. Speculations 
uh, not totally correct, or even better, the speculations are entirely incorrect, just a different way, and do not have any evident data points. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what this means, but that's a negative construction. And it, again, it's a very wordy way of writing, and it's not very academic. So there's probably a reason why you're stuck with the 5.5 um, or 6, I think you said you were at. I strongly feel that the police policies, the policies driving internal marketing is a def definitive boon to the current economic situation. Why are we talking about internal marketing? We should be talking about international marketing. Also, international marketing is not international trade, which is the buying and selling of goods and exports and imports. International marketing is media campaigns and global advertising. It's Coca-Cola advertising in Scotland or, I don't know, an Indian company advertising in, um, I don't know, Korea. Okay? It's more like advertising. So let's see. It brings in high forms of educational reforms and opportunities. There is a large amount of cultural diversity in the country today. This gives us a bigger platform of mixed ideas that come together when people from other lands collaborate and put up a working model. Right, your vocabulary is great here. And your grammar is uh, very accurate as well. There's been no hiccups here. Two massive problems, though. Uh, cohesion and coherence because we have not really stuck with one idea and developed it with examples um, and that's really where you're going to pick up a lot of body a lot of points in your body paragraph and we can see your introduction is much shorter than your body paragraph which is it's not the way to go here we're going to pick up our, most of our points but it's smaller than the introduction so smaller introduction will free up time to spend on your body paragraph so you can write longer ones, more developed ones with examples and that will help you score higher. Second problem, task response. Um, we haven't addressed the issue at all, so you're not going to get any points for that paragraph. Okay, it's very, very off topic, so be very careful about that. Uh, it's quite an easy problem to solve though so don't worry and I'll tell you about it also just another thing there is definitely opportunities although you've got great vocabulary here there's definitely an opportunity to upgrade it as I said before the recent study has a, the recent study which recent study did we mention a recent study before no it, so it has to be a recent study also showed how well the job markets were doing with an influx in the creative skills availability the salary bars have also raised, have also been raised, leading to a more competitive arena to play into, or to play in would be more accurate. Um, but again, it seems it's not very coherent, Majid. I don't really know what study you're referring to, and I don't know why there's been an influx of creative skills. So this is all about paragraph structure, cohesion and coherence, and again, it's quite an easy problem to solve. People now have access to bilingual language streams and are able to promote their ideas more effectively. For example, Coca-Cola, all right, and we now give a real world example, which is also quite easy to do. Right, uh, so the two problems, cohesion and coherence with this paragraph, especially in task response, um, that can be solved. There's a module we have about it in the online course. It's very straightforward. Secondly, here, um, again, paragraph structure, super simple to solve. We've got a formula for that. It's really easy and it's really quick. Um, so let's just have a look at your, your conclusion. Overall, comma, I can safely conclude with this thought that international marketing is a big yes. So I, we've already mentioned that. And it is only bringing in more good than bad is the usual to, way to say this and again good and bad basic vocabulary what could we say instead the positives are here we could say um, I'm strongly of the opinion that the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks okay this is the kind of uh, feedback we like to give where you're going to improve much quicker I'm sure people eventually will realize this for themselves over the next year or two. Which people? 
Again, we're off topic. And this will be the new normal of the year 2022. Be careful. So uh, again, it's not the best way to finish and starting with and isn't very uh, well practiced either. So just be careful. So Majid, um, it's a good essay. You've definitely got the potential. I would put it at maybe a six, 6.5. I think you could get a, a seven, okay? Have a look at your inbox and we're going to extend the offer so you get $50 discount and you'll get two essays extra for free as a way of saying sorry for this mix up. And as I said, your refund is in the, is in the post. It's a term of phrase, but it's on the way. Okay, so all the best and hopefully we'll hear, you, hear, hear from you soon. And again, I apologize for the delay. Also, to make sure the delay doesn't happen again, we'll upgrade you to 24 hour essay correction. Okay, when you join the course. So just bear that in mind.